Have you ever gotten negative feedback? Of course you have. We all have. Do you love it? No, we all can't stand it. It's the worst. But let me teach you some tips that will help you transition that in your mind and it will become a different perspective because I want you to be able to use it as fuel for success. Because the reality is, as my son would always say, and he still says it to this day, he says, haters gone hate. So I just want you to understand that there actually can be some really powerful things that come out of it. Haters gonna hate. I don't want it to affect you, your business. It can, well, I want it to affect you in a positive way. So here are some ways to use it as fuel for success. Number one, I want you to remember that if you are getting no flack, it means you have no influence. So if nobody's hating on you, guess what? It's because you're not making a difference anywhere. If you start making a difference and people are paying attention, now you're going to get some feedback and some of it's going to be negative. And so just remember that honestly, that helped me so much because now when I get something like that, I just remember Dude, in fact, I kind of sometimes, especially if it's a particularly harsh one, usually it's just people having a bad attitude or being a little grumpy or why didn't, you know, you said you were going to give us that and then I can't find the link anywhere. You know, it's usually that kind of stuff, but pretty rarely, but once in a while, we'll get something that is pretty, pretty rude, but that's rare. And then one time I got one that was really mean, just mean and self-righteous and just unkind. It, like the whole thing about it was just rude. And it happened to come to me on a day that was a tough day. It was a really tough day. And because I've had enough success in my business, I've seen that. And I've gotten to the point where most of the time, it doesn't even phase me. In fact, when I hear, well, like when I notice something or it's brought to my attention, I honestly, I immediately go, that's because I must be having influence. <laughs> So it kind of helps. It helps me a lot, in fact, to remember that. And that has it been internalized for me. But this one day, it was so hard because I was having a tough day, had been going through a lot the last several months, and had gotten some difficult news just recently. There were just several things that had piled up. And then I got the worst one that I've ever had, this one that was so mean and so unkind. And I just, at first, it didn't bother me because it's a habit. It doesn't bother me but then the weight of everything else on my shoulders and then that, and you try so hard to sacrifice and give and do the right things and serve these people that are your audience and, and love on them. And you're just giving so much of yourself all the time. And then that, and you're like, really, when somebody can't see the intentions that you have and they assume all these bad intentions that are not even what you're about, and I, that day, I just, I was so sad after a little while, it started to get to me that day and I ended up totally in tears. I just was so down about it and I knew it was more the weight of everything, but I just let myself grieve for a little bit and I, then my, my main employee, my business manager, who is super amazing, he's also my son, we're very close and he, he said to me, you need to take the rest of the day off. He said, you have been working so hard. He knew a lot of the stuff that was going on. He said, you need to take some time for you. Do whatever you want, but I think you need to take some time. And the beauty of working for yourself, being an entrepreneur, guess what? I thought, you know what? I'm going to. And so, and first I did, I, I took some time to just pout. I got in my swimsuit, went out to our pool and I was just pouting. And I took some time for me until I got to a place later in the day where it was okay. And I was back to my normal self. I still was having a hard time about all the things I was dealing with, but I felt stronger and I just had needed a little time for me and that's okay. So just remember, you are going to get flack. And the more you start changing lives, the more that it will come. So the second thing I want you to do is use the criticism to evaluate yourself. A lot of times it comes because people are jealous. Sometimes they're mad because there's something hard going on in their life. We don't know what's going on, but it doesn't matter what the reason is. When people say something, sometimes, not always, but there's sometimes there's some truth to it and it's always good. I take every single one and I evaluate what are some things that I can take. You know, I want to take that to heart and go, okay, that is absolutely not true. And they can think that and that's fine. This, I could work on that. 
we didn't respond as fast as we should have or whatever. And it allows me to look at it, but, but you've got to be able to be really clear about the things that are not true about it. Not because you won't admit they're not that they're true. The things that really aren't true, let it go. It's okay. They can be, they can be fine that way. And one thing I want you to do is watch for my video. I'm going to put a video out about being codependent. It literally will change your life. So I'm, when, when I put that one out, I'm going to put a link on this video so that you can refer to it, but I want you to be watching for it. Subscribe or do whatever you have to do, become part of my Facebook group so that you can um, be notified when that comes because it will, it will change your life. It will change your business. It changed mine and I know it will change yours. So use that criticism to evaluate yourself. The third thing is learn from them how to treat other people. You know how it makes you feel. Well, it doesn't make you feel anyway, but you know how you feel when that happens. And so make sure you're not one of those people. You're not one of the haters who are hating on other people. Let's not be like that. And let's up level from that kind of behavior. And number four, I want you to learn to be humble. Practice taking the high road. Because when people say that to you, it's hard. You know, that day when I was having a hard day, it would have been really easy for me to go, well, you want to know what? And I could have sent a whole response that blew her out of the water because I knew exactly there were so many things she was talking about that she had no clue what she was talking about. I could have absolutely destroyed her and, and with facts, but I didn't. You can take the high road. Actually, it was awesome. My employees had written back and were sticking up for me in a really powerful, positive and strong way and it really that that meant a lot to me that they felt that way but just use it as an opportunity to practice taking the high road it will change your business you'll end up connecting with people who are higher level because you are learning that skill number five it gives you practice dealing with conflict yeah we don't love conflict obviously that's hard but the reality is conflict is part of life if we shy away from it or don't know how to handle it, we are not going to be able to run our business as well every time we hire, every time we fire, every time we have partnerships. Everything we're doing in our business is not going to work the same if we don't know how to handle conflict. And we can actually, it can be something that you are, you feel as, this is going to sound weird, but that you feel as a positive experience because you know how to handle the conflict. Like, for example, when a situation starts to arise with an employee or with a partner or with your spouse or whatever, it's all, it can be almost something that you're like, okay, this is going to be fun because I know I'm good at it. I know I'm going to help guide the situation. And if, if you're one of those people that's thinking, well, why does it have to be me? Why do I have to be the one that is, you know, notices what needs to happen and I'm the one who's helping the process go? Because guess what? Number one, because you're a leader. That's why you're an entrepreneur. And that will always be your job. You will always be better at that than other people. And if you're not good at it, your business is not, is not going to be very good. If you are not successful, that's one of the skills you haven't learned yet. I can tell you that right now. You want to be successful in business? You learn the skill of handling conflict. As you get better at that, your business will get better. Your business will make more money just because you're better at that. Number six, it helps you appreciate your fans the people who really love you, the people who appreciate you and appreciate what you've done. Like, you know, I said, I get, I get some flack, you know, here and there. And guess what? Part of why it doesn't phase me is because I've learned to not let it bother me. But part of it, you have to take it in context and realize, wow, I get tons and tons of comments and emails and well, well, some emails, but tons and tons of comments and responses and messages that are so so grateful. People telling me that I've changed their lives. People telling me how their business is successful because of what they learned from me. Those kinds of things. And then what happens is we might have hundreds of those and we get one that's not nice and we're like, we feel like our life is falling apart. Get a grip, get over it, and you can totally handle it because guess what? Guess what you're going to be doing? You are going to remember that if you're not getting any flack, you have no influence. So it's actually not a bad thing. The second thing is you're going to use the criticism to evaluate yourself. The third, learn from them how to treat other people. Number four, learn to be humble. Practice the, taking the high road. Practice how you're going to respond. Number four, uh, no, number five, gives you practice dealing with conflict. And number six, helps you appreciate the fans who are grateful for you. Remember that when you're having a hard time. 
let me know what you are committed to doing. Because I don't want the comments here to become a whole bashing competition about who got the worst comment. But you can do share with me if you've had that happen to you before. And I want to know what you did about it, that you were proud of or not proud of, how you're going to handle it in the future. Tell me. I want to hear. I'll see you in the next video.